hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i am gonna be showing you guys a little baby haul with pretty much everything that i've been buying for the baby so far so without further ado let's jump right in so i'm first gonna start off with the nursery so the nursery we are pretty much done with the nursery we just have like a lot of putting away to do and also like organizing all of the baby's clothes and the closet but once i'm done with all of that i am officially pretty much gonna be done with the nursery and then after that like we just have like some cleaning up to do up in here so yeah but um the first thing i wanted to talk about was the crib so the crib that we ended up getting was from ikea and i'm going for like a more boho modern type look so we obviously like don't know the gender of the baby so this room really has to be like very gender neutral because we don't want to have any pinks in here and then it ends up being a boy or any like boy stuff and it ends up being a girl so i kept it very like gender neutral so i ended up going with this crib from ikea and i swear it was like 70 or like 75 dollars or so so it was very cheap and then i also splurged on the mattress and i remember they were having a huge sale i don't remember exactly when i bought it i think it was like for fourth of july or something like that but it was like a hundred dollars off so i ended up spending some money on this mattress because they are a little bit more on like the expensive side but it's supposed to be like very breathable and it's also the waterproof one so in case the baby does pee on it or whatever you can always just like wash it off so i ended up just splurging on the mattress so now the next thing that i wanted to talk about was the outlet camera so we ended up going with this one i was stuck on this one or the nanit and i just found that the outlet was just better overall at least in my opinion so i ended up just going with the outlet and pretty much it's like a camera and it brings like a little sock and the sock is supposed to track like the baby's heartbeat and um oxygen levels and all that stuff and if like the oxygen levels are really low it sends you like a notification to your phone so i ended up going with this one the nanit one if i remember correctly it's like a swaddle so um the baby literally can only wear it like when they're sleeping type thing which this one they can pretty much have on like at all times not saying that i will um make the baby have this on all the time but um i just felt like this one was going to give me more of like a peace of mind so i ended up going with this one and i also did get this for mother's day um they were having a huge sale and it was like i think it was also like a hundred dollars off so it was a pretty good deal and i couldn't pass on that so i ended up getting this one um so yeah we got that and then i also ended up getting a couple books some of them are already like on there but these were the ones that really stuck out to me because they're like bilingual books and they pretty much look like this um so this one is like they're both like my first bilingual this one talks about like the opposites so like you know cold hot big short type thing and then this one talks about the shapes and i really like how they're bilingual because i really want this baby to know spanish and obviously english so you know you gotta start them young so now the next thing that i ended up getting for the baby was this like tummy time little like mat thing and it's just like the cloud one i'm pretty sure this one's like really popular and i really like it because newborns apparently like they don't really like a lot of like colors or anything because they can't really see so if you give them like black white grays and stuff like that like it's better for them so i ended up just going with this one so we can have like the baby be on the ground and stuff so i got that one and it's not like set up or anything because i don't think we really like need it right now and now moving on to uh, clothing pieces so i do have quite a lot of clothing pieces because i don't know clothing items for babies are just so freaking cute so this one i didn't realize but well because i ordered most of these like online but i didn't realize that it kind of gives me like boy vibes not maybe like this one but this one right here gives me kind of like boy vibes so these are just like onesies i made sure i got onesies that have like the little mittens 
on them i think that is like perfect so you don't have to go out and buy like separate little mittens for them so i got these and also the baby's gonna be born right now like in october so i made sure that i got like longer onesies just because you know it's almost pretty cold outside and then i also ended up getting like some bottoms uh, most of these are from macy's and they pretty much look like this i also like the ones that have like the little footy thingies on them so you don't have to like put socks on them um but this one looks like this hopefully you guys can see that because it's kind of bright out here and then i got a white and like green one i got this one which is like a brown color one and then some like joggers which i thought was so like so cute um they don't have like the little footy thingies at the bottom but they just look like this and then there's this also green color one and then another one of these which is green and then this sweater right here oh my god i feel like this sweater is the cutest thing ever it's just like a little um cardigan sweater type thing and i really love the um buttons on here and then at the top it has like the little bear ears which i thought was so freaking adorable so it looks like this and i think this is what the baby's going to be coming home with i still haven't even picked out that yet or even like did the diaper bag yet but um i also picked up some of these so these are just like shirts that look like this and i really like how they have like the buttons on the side so you don't have to like zip it you can just button it um and they're also like just shirts they don't have like the bottom on there they're not onesies or anything so i picked these up in like several different colors and they're so freaking tiny like oh my god this pretty much fits like my whole hand right here it's crazy that they're gonna be this small and they're all newborn size i mostly stuck with buying like newborn sizes because i knew that like at baby showers most of the time people give like three months and above like six to nine months three to six months so i knew that i was going to need a lot of newborn stuff so um i ended up just getting most of the things for like when it first comes home and it's like a newborn and then i also picked up these shirts so all of these shirts came with like those pants that I just showed. So you can kind of like mix and match them and stuff. So this one has little like, I don't even know what these are, like pears or something, oranges. And then um, there's also this one with like the little animals on here. It has like ducks and birds and stuff. So this one looks like this. And then I also got this yellow striped one. I also picked up some onesies and these are like long sleeve onesies and again with the little mittens on there so these are kind of more like undershirts but these are just plain white onesies and i also got this little onesie from amazon um this one doesn't bring the little mittens or the um footy thingies on there but i just thought this color was so cute and even if we end up having like a boy and then eventually we end up having a girl or vice versa um they can always like wear a lot of these things so that's why i just kept the clothing very neutral as well and then once the baby's here and it ends up being whatever it is like we can go ahead and buy more like boy clothes or more girl clothes so i'm not like too worried about that also got this little onesie it's like a striped one and it all like came in like a little collection and then this other little onesie which is so cute it just has like little animals on there and then i picked up this other onesie which has apples on them and then this one is so like comfortable looking it's like very like thermal and you know it just has the little um footies and like the mittens as well so i got that one and another thing is that i've heard that these zippers that start from the bottom are like the two-way zippers are like the most practical ones to get because that way like if you need to change a diaper you can just pull the zipper from the bottom and then change the diaper instead of having to like pull the ones that go from the top to the bottom and like undress the baby and then change the diaper like you don't have to do all that with the two-way ones or the bottom ones because you can just access the bottom very easily and you don't have to like change or like 
unbutton the top and then they're going to be all cold and stuff so i made sure that i got a couple of those and then this one is so freaking cute it's just a little bear onesie now i don't know why some of these onesies have um pockets on them like what do you even put in here like a little penny or something but this one is super cute it's like a cream color and again with the little mittens on there and um now from like marshall's i think or like tj maxx i ended up getting this set which is so cute i absolutely love the color this one's for zero to three months but i love how it comes with literally everything so it has like the hat the shirt and then the pants and of course a long sleeve and yeah again with the little pocket on there which i think is pretty hilarious and then i also ended up buying like um shampoos and lotions and stuff so this one is for like the daytime and then this one's for the nighttime and it came in like a little set thing like this but the lotion is already i don't even know where the lotion is but it came in like a little caddy with like the set and i think that is like adorable because you can just like pull it into the bathroom and then pull it back out or whatever so i ended up getting that and yeah that's pretty much everything that i've bought for the baby so far um we still have yet to get a stroller we have not ordered that one yet but we are thinking about going with the upper baby vista so that one eventually it can turn into like a double stroller so we ended up going with that one and yeah, like I said, we haven't ordered it yet. We actually have to do that this week because time is just getting closer and closer. And before we know it, the baby is going to be here. And I feel like the baby is going to come early. Like I feel like it's going to come like maybe the second week of October or so. So I'm super excited. But yeah, that's pretty much everything that I've bought for the baby so far. I'm almost done with the nursery, so I will be having a little nursery tour up soon. I just have to like organize um, a lot of things and order a new rug because I didn't realize that the rug in here is very uncomfortable when you're like sitting on it. It's very prickly and stuff and just like very itchy and just super hard, like super uncomfortable. I just didn't realize it when I was doing the guest room because it's a guest room like we don't even sleep in here and we don't even like really come in here so anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like and also subscribe and i will see you guys in my next one bye guys